Today we are talking about keeping in touch with our former foster children. I'm not just talking about it, I'm gonna go and see one of my former foster children, which I'm so excited for. Hello and welcome, my name is Sarah. If you are new around here, I am a solo foster carer in the UK. I've been fostering for three years, I think now, and I've had about eight, eight or nine children that I have cared for. I'm a short-term foster carer and I generally do younger children and I have multiple children. I've only got one child at the moment and it's very quiet around here. <laughs> I normally have quite a few. But for now I just have one. If you have been watching the videos and you know my sort of fostering story and what's been going on recently, you will know that a child did leave me six weeks ago or so and I haven't seen them since they left. I have been in touch with the person who has is has got them. I'm not going to talk about whether that's back home, family member or adopt, whatever that is. Um, but I have been in touch with them and we have done a video call which was lovely and we've arranged to meet up at a park. The weather's turned on us a bit so it's not very park. <laughs> weather but we'll see what happens we will see i am looking forward to seeing them we can always change our plans so that's not a big deal but before we go and see them i wanted to talk a bit more generally about keeping in touch with our former foster children and the importance of it in my opinion and to be honest in most people's opinion that i do talk to within social services and within the system it's so hugely important if possible to keep in touch and that can mean varying different things it can it can mean video calls it can mean monthly outings it could mean christmas card letters it can be whatever everyone involved i suppose is comfortable with and whilst it is in my opinion always about the child and should be completely child focused I do understand that obviously there are adult emotions in there and you know, if a child has gone back home or if they've, it, sometimes it's more difficult to, to keep in touch and often um, birth parents don't want to keep in touch with the foster uh, parent, which I guess, you know, I can understand that. Um, but I think if some level of contact can be maintained, even if it is a Christmas card, a birthday card, I think that is really important for the children because you know, obviously they've been with you, depending on how long they've been in foster care and been with you for, it can be a, it can be a really long time. <laughs> like, this child that left me it was with me for 18 months. You know, during the time they were with me, I provided them with this happy, secure, safe home with loads of love. And for that, just to all of a sudden be gone is weird for a child to kind of wrap their head around. Like, hang on a second, where's Sarah? Sarah was there all the time, and now what's happening, where is she? Like, it's okay that they're being cared for by this other person that's now caring for them. Yeah, okay, so they're not having any needs that aren't met, but just in terms of, you know, obviously they've already gone through, any child in care has already gone through the trauma of being removed from their parents. And even though that is, has been deemed by someone that you know it's in the child's best interest for whatever reason you know their well-being their safety they've been removed that's traumatic for a child to go through to just have those kind of ties cut and yes we do have contact with birth parents when they come into care but it's it's traumatic let's be honest that's a traumatic thing to go through there's no getting around that and the same thing is true in my opinion of them leaving foster parents that someone who's been with me for whatever length of time really but i mean the longer length of time i guess potentially worse but they have built this very strong positive relationship with me and again for for me just to be sort of ripped out of their life and yes i know we do the the bridging process of slowly like easing them back into wherever wherever they're going but essentially i've still just disappeared from their life and in order for them to be able to maintain positive healthy relationships going forward i think it's so important to make sure that we don't just allow the foster carers just to drop off the face of the earth because otherwise what is 
what are these little children learning and I guess it doesn't have to be that they're little children it can be older children as well where where do they lie on hang on a second <laughs> anyone who ever looks after me or anyone who's ever there just vanishes all of a sudden and what does that then build within them on relationships so absolutely <laughs> my thoughts on it all is that it it's only a good thing. I'm sure there are potential cases where it's not a good thing, but overwhelmingly so, I would say, that keeping in touch with foster carers is really important. I know that we do kind of like life story work with the children and like a life story book and you pass them on with things, but there's something really nice that if they, say the child has been adopted or say they've, wherever they've gone, there's something really nice that actually I'm the person, as the foster carer, I knew this child the best for this year of their life and I can maybe fill in some gaps for the child if they want to ask questions later down the line about certain things. And that's just really important, I think, that to as a, when you become older that you've got that person that you can ask questions to about this period of your life. My belief is that it will absolutely help them create better trust within people and sense of belonging and identity if they've got links to their past. And with that in mind, let's hop to tomorrow where we're going to go and see my former foster child. We're about to leave to go and meet up with them. I've just come back home. We've been out this morning and I've just nipped back home to collect Stephen because luckily the day that was suggested is Stephen's um, study day from college. So he's been studying this morning and he's coming with us. <laughs> it's literally just him there. Oh yeah. He's just picking up a dead mouse that the, <laughs> the cats had um, bought in the house. following morning after seeing them and it was so wonderful so so wonderful seeing them after this time six weeks or so or whatever it has been we met up in a park we all took a picnic and so we ate our picnic together and then the kids played on um, a park like a, a children's play park thing outside it was a really nice day actually which was a surprise it was really quite warm and it was so nice like we talked like the grown-ups talked about how it's been going I played with the child for a little bit. Obviously the child that I've still got with me, they know each other, they were together with me for like 18 months or so. And so they played, it was nice for them to see each other and they played on the park. Stephen came with us, so the child really responded really well with Stephen and Stephen played with them. Um, it was just so wonderful. It was so wonderful. We were there for like three hours or so and we have made plans, well not, concrete plans but definitely we're gonna um at least for the time being that's how it's sort of seeming from from my perspective it would be wonderful for this to continue and from what i understand it seems to be that, that you know that is gonna continue that we'll we will meet up and we'll do things um it's just fantastic it was so strange when we met um in the car park and, and saw them it was so weird seeing <laughs> this little person uh toddling along they just look like because it's weird because they they're dressed in I mean like they weren't dressed in like it would be something that I would buy it wasn't like a different style or whatever it just looks strange them dressed in clothes that someone else has bought and um, I don't know it was just strange but I gave them a hug um, and they were absolutely fine and they talked to me and it was just so wonderful I was a little bit concerned about maybe how they'd be after the fact um but i text the person and we spoke last night that and um, they seem they've seemed fine for the rest of the day and they went to bed fine and they said they'd had a good day and so hopefully it's only positives that will come out of has come out of this you know i've played the the mum role for this child for a long time in their early life and going forward in their life it can surely only be a positive thing that they know 
that I am here, that I am someone that can be in the life, that, um, you know, that my family, that needs to, we love and we care for them so much and we would always, I will always be there for them. Surely it's only a positive thing for someone to have somebody else that loves them and cares for them. Um, so yeah, it was just fantastic and I'm so pleased, so pleased that we managed to do it. We have, we've not made con con any concrete plans, but we have um, sort of said like, we'll do it again and things. So hopefully it does continue. It'll be really nice. Um, sometimes these things have a, have a habit of like starting off and then they just sort of dwindle out, don't they? Um, but we'll see. We will just see what happens with it. For now, the plan is to sort of see each other. See each other. Well, we've sort of said, maybe sort of like end of next month or something, um, or like you know, into November time. And we'll just see. Definitely, you know, I'll be sending Christmas cards and birthday stuff to them because I love this kid um, at the end of the day. And not only have I been a huge part of their little journey so far they've been a huge part of my journey and creating the person that i am so yeah this little person means a lot and it will be wonderful to continue to keep in touch i'm gonna end it here on that wonderfully positive note thank you so much for watching there are links down below to my patreon and my paypal me if you would like to support the channel in that way thanks again for watching and i will see you soon Bye-bye.